So I've been posting 60 YouTube shorts a month and it barely takes me any time at all to post these 60 YouTube shorts because they are repurposed TikTok videos. I set up a content repurposing workflow that allows me to automatically download my TikTok video watermark free into a Google Drive folder. That way I have over 1000 TikTok videos in a Google Drive folder. And then what I do is I just drag and drop them into my YouTube folder. I will download them out of my YouTube folder. And then I log into YouTube and I schedule out 60 YouTube shorts to go out every month. And this has allowed me to grow my channel to over a thousand subscribers. And in the next year I'm shooting to hit over 10,000 subscribers, and I'm doing this by repurposing TikTok content, which is so easy to do. So we're gonna jump into my laptop, that way I can show you how you can repurpose your TikTok content onto YouTube Shorts, that way you can save time while also growing a very successful following on YouTube. I am super excited to share this with you. It's gonna change the way you create content. I've gone viral on TikTok multiple times with one of the videos getting over a million views when I talk about this content repurposing workflow, so I'm so excited to show you the in-depth reveal of how I make it happen. The first website I love using is Repurpose.io, and I'll link a free two-week er, trial in the description for you, but logging into Repurpose.io, a lot of people make the mistake of having their TikTok content automatically download and automatically post to YouTube, which you can do, but I noticed horrible engagement when I set up this automation. So instead, what you're gonna do when you get a Repurpose.io account is go into Connections and link your TikTok and link your Google Drive. Those are the only two things you need to link. Feel free to pause this video or rewatch this video as you do this. That way it's really easy for you to schedule 60 YouTube Shorts a month then or 30 YouTube Shorts, that's a win too. Then you're gonna go into workflows and you're gonna create a new workflow and just link your TikTok to your Google Drive. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set that to download. So in the beginning, if you've had over 100 videos on TikTok, it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna automatically pull them off TikTok watermark free and drop them in the Google Drive folder that you assign. Going into my Google Drive, this is what it looks like. So it is underneath this folder titled Marines Marketing TikTok Videos. Down here is where all of my new content goes. Um, at one time we had over a thousand videos here and we still do, they're just now sorted beautifully into folders. So what I do is I just drag and drop these into the appropriate folder. For example, this video, which is off TikTok, talks about content repurposing. It's over- Oh, I'm a content repurposing expert. It's over two minutes long, so that's not gonna work really well as a YouTube short. So if we go to the next one, this is 59 seconds, perfect. That's gonna work great as a YouTube short. I will then just drag this into the YouTube Shorts folder. That way we can go out on YouTube Shorts. So I'll just drag it into YouTube Shorts, hit move, click YouTube Shorts, and then I've got all this content in here that's about to go on YouTube Shorts. What I do is I just click on it and then hold my command key down if you're on a MacBook and I'll download all of this content because these are all TikTok videos that can be repurposed on YouTube. When I download these, they will go to my download section here on my laptop. I will then just drag all of that content onto my desktop here. And then from my desktop, what I do is I log into my YouTube and I just hit create, upload video, and then I'll just drag one video at a time into upload video on YouTube shorts. And you just need to make sure that it's less than a minute long if you want it to go out on YouTube, which is super easy to do. Um, and then for your title, description, the key to YouTube Shorts that I found is write a very simple title that's less than 10 words and explain exactly what the video is about. Make sure you're clearly defining what the video is about, that way people want to click on it. And then just add like three hashtags related to the video. So if you have a video about content creation, Hashtag content creator, hashtag content creation. Don't make it complicated. I always call it sprinkles content, but it's like, don't worry about the sprinkles. Worry about getting the cupcake posted. Sprinkles don't matter. Um, and then I just schedule it. So I will schedule one to go out, usually at 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard. You can go into your YouTube analytics to figure out what time is best for you. Um, but I'll just schedule one to go out every day. And then I will then go through again and schedule a second one to go out every day. Because I'm a content creation coach, I'm able to post 60 a month. You only want to post 60 a month if you're posting more than 60 videos a month on TikTok because 
you won't be able to keep up with it if you schedule 60 a month and you don't post 60 a month on TikTok. So if you post 10 videos a month on TikTok, then schedule five YouTube shorts. You wanna post less YouTube shorts than you're posting TikTok videos so you never run out of content. But that is the exact content repurposing workflow that I set up. That took less than five minutes to explain. It's gonna take you about 20 minutes to set up, I would say. So feel free to pause this video, rewatch it, put it in slow motion. That way you can start downloading your TikTok videos watermark free and posting them on YouTube to grow your YouTube channel, grow your personal brand and scale your income. Also feel free to check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube where I share more helpful content creation tips and self-improvement strategies because I'm here to help you grow your personal brand and increase your income. I hope this video was helpful for you to set up that automation.